Ken Lu Triple Gaku. Gaku running an extremely toxic base, but we all know that Lu's pretty insane. And we are live here with another Legends League series attacks. And today we've got Inquisition Lu in. We'll just call him Lu today. And look at the army he is bringing. Sui Lalo is back in Legends League. Coming up against this base, we've seen this base like 45 times on the channel. It's one of the most popular Legends League bases there is. Now, I don't actually know how you would do Sui Lalo in Legends, so I'm fascinated to see what happens here. Let's have a look at this Sui. So, Sui and Queen for the Town Hall. RC with a Rage and a Skelly for the enemy RC and the multi, and then King down the middle, he's gonna deal with the CC. If he could get rid of that air defense, that would be huge. He freezes the headhunters so that the poison does work. RC is going really well on the right side. She's gonna clear all of that. Not gonna get a scatter, but actually this is a really good value Sui. So nice start here from Lou. Now let's see how the Lalo can go. As you can see, he does not bring Sneaky Gobs with this attack. He brings the Ice Hound uh, using his Super Troop on that, which I think is really interesting and actually probably expect to see it used on this first air defense here because look at it. It can freeze the Scatter Shot as well as the Air Defense Whiz Tower and Air Bow. So that's really nice. Also got the Stone Slammer. Normally you don't see the Stone Slammer used in Lalo attacks. You see a lot of Blizz Lalo in Legends League. So this is going to be fascinating to see how powerful that is. Nice Rage down the bottom. Gets through the Tesla Farm and the Eagle really quickly. Stone Slammer is in the core of the base doing fabulous work. This looks really good. It's just this uh, enemy Queen left. But he's still got two Headhunters. Uh, but he's got to figure out a way to get the uh, the headhunters to target the queen rather than the king. He's kind of in the way. But he's also got skelly spells. Puts the skellies down. He's still got the warden ability. Just uses the warden ability now. Holy moly, this is crushed. This is absolutely crushed. I, I, there's no way, right? The queen finally goes down. The owl did really good work there. He's got like 20 balloons coming to the back end. Time is not an issue. Unlike with the blizzard Lalo, where you have to do like a 30 second blizzard, then deal with the CC, blah, blah, blah. It's so much quicker, this attack. You just do a quick Sui, and then you Lalo. And look at it. He's got four loons in the bag for cleanup. Still got those ice pups running around. They would have done heaps of work in the core. And what an amazing start to the day. Now, we've seen this base do so much work against other people we've had on the channel in Legends League. But Sui Lalo may be your best bet to destroying the box base. And Lou is in here for his second attack of the day. And this is a very different base than we saw on the first one. So we've seen the box base and we've seen it get absolutely crushed. This, I don't, I mean, this is kind of a box base when you think about it. It's just a different style. Rather than having the town hall on one of the corners, it's actually in the middle. So let's see what happens here. King and Queen starting at nine. Well, all three here are starting at nine. But he's having the RC go down and the King and Queen go up. RC pulls uh, the defensive CC. He's got to pop her ability. She does get her um, she does get her ability off, which is nice. Oh, he's got to freeze the CC. That's a double freeze there. He's being real. Wait, why did you pop the Queen? He was very slow on the poison, and now the Headhunter's running out and going. Bo no, just one of them's going straight at the Queen. All his freeze is used on this Sui. Sorry that we're so zoomed out. There's just so much happening. Rage is on the queen as well. Because he hasn't got another freeze. This queen's got to beat the town hall here. Oh, headhunter, don't do it. Oh, <laughs> that was way too close. But this is now interesting. Because on the first hit, we saw him get a lot of value with his Sui. This is not much. This is not much. If he got that scatter shot at like 7.30 with his queen, uh, with his RC, sorry then maybe a chance, but he hasn't got a sweep, he hasn't got a scatter shot. He just got a town hall and a single and the defensive CC. So this is going to be a test of how good his Lalo is. Yet again, Stone Slammer and the Ice Hound coming in immediately. This Ice Hound doing great work. Freezes the Queen. Lalo coming in. I'm actually expecting an early Warden here. Yeah, so early Warden. On the last attack, we saw a late Warden. But this time going in with the early warden so that the headhunters can clear the queen. But also he gets through the first eagle shots, the multi, and the scatter and queen. Lots of damage early on in this attack. Eagle is going after the hound still, which is really nice because he's got no more freezes, remember? He's just got to bury his way through the base. Dragon in the core. If that dragon gets the multi, he's still got a chance. 
Skelly is really nice. Look at it. It's gonna tank the scatter shot and the RC. He's Al shooting the wrong hero. Oh no, scatter. Scatter, don't do it. Our warden goes down, and that's gonna be the end of that. Really unfortunate. If his RC got that scatter on the Sui, uh, this is pretty wrecked. I think he would have devoted a rage to his RC if she didn't pull the CC as well. But unfortunately, just had to use way too many uh, free spells on the opener. I think if he just pops his queen ability better and has to use one less freeze, this is probably a triple. He just freeze the scatter shot and whiz tower there. And there's no way that that multi is going to take out 12 balloons. He had so much going through the back end. But honestly, like... Given how bad the opener was, he got really close. I think that's almost a worst case scenario opener. And he's still going to get his way up to like 28, 29 cups here. Obviously, you want 40 cups when you're at the top of the Legends League. Because on defense, you're just taking 40 cups. But still, nice recovery to 88%. And he's going to get 28 cups for it. And he's in for his third attack of the day. Up against one of the, uh, well, one of the World Top Korea esports players. You'll probably recognize uh, World Top Korea. They are always at the top of the Clan War League's leaderboards. And we've seen them at Worlds a few times. Anyway, the most interesting thing about this attack is that it's an anti-2. This is the style of base that I would personally think that Sui Lalo would struggle on the most. Most other armies do really well against anti-2s and kind of struggle with the box and diamond bases, but Sui Lalo is unique in that aspect. So let's see if it's really strong here. One thing I actually haven't talked about yet, believe it or not, is have a look at uh, Lu's pets here. He has a level 1 yak. To me, the Yak is almost the most important hero, particularly for Sui attacks, because he helps the King and Queen get so much access through the base. But he's got a level 1 Yak and a level 5 Unicorn, so not even max pets as part of his King, Queen, Sui. Now, he does have level 10, 10 um, Al and Lassie, but I would say they're the two least important pets. So it's interesting that he's having such good success in Legends League with lower pet levels. Um, whilst uh, his CC is destroying his RC, I will actually talk about something that I normally talk about on the first attack, but forgot to today. Uh, Lou started the day at 5642. I didn't get his exact ranking, but that would be inside the top 100. So this man is insane. He's having a really good season. Let's see if he can finish it off today. I don't know why I didn't put that in the open. I normally do. Now, anti to Interesting deployment. So he puts his two normal uh, hounds down first, then the ice hound second. I think he wants this ice hound to kind of pop near the town hall. That would be awesome for him. Now, just freezing the scatter shot a lot. He actually misses it there, unfortunately. And he's just going to try and overwhelm the core of the base. That's fascinating to me. Pops the warden. Gets most of the loons. Is he get... I mean, does this work? Can you just bury your way through the core of the base? He's still got a freeze and a haste left. And he's got a lot of balloons that didn't go on the town hall poison. And it's just a single left. I think he gets this. It's just a single. Unfortunately, the single gets on the warden, but he freezes that. The single will probably retarget to the warden again, actually. Yeah, unfortunately it does. Is that going to cost him? No, it's on the owl. Oh, perfect. Perfectly done, owl. Al, Al being the sacrifice that is needed to get the triple. And he should get this. It's just time at this point. Just time. He is losing a lot of balloons. Man, loons are so useless without spells. No, don't be a time fail. Oh, I don't think he's got it. No. Come on. Come on, loons and minions. Get through the base. He lost a lot of minions in the core. Come on. No, there's no way. Gets a good loon split. Don't you dare 99. Don't you dare 99. Oh, it's a 99. That is an absolute heartbreak there for Lou. But honestly, he nearly tripled an anti-2 by just overwhelming the call with Lalo. Hopefully he runs into another anti-2 today and we can see how repeatable this attack is. Lou in again here. This should be attack number four. Wait, this this looks like almost the exact same base. So it's wait, it's Garku, <laughs> guys. It's Garku. What is gonna happen here? In, <laughs> all the subs are just going off in the background. Thank you again to Hoosier, but we gotta watch this. Can Lou triple Garku? 
Gaku running an extremely toxic base, but we all know that Lou's pretty insane. So, gonna try and funnel the king and queen up through the base here. He's probably going in for the eagle. This is why he brings two super wall breakers with his army. Kind of like you do with the blizzard Lalo, except he's not trying to sui the town hall. Um, this queen needs to go up instead of down. Please continue to go up. Oh, she goes down. That's really bad. That's really bad. There's nothing he could have done to funnel that better, unfortunately. He's not going to set any funnel with these heroes. And the, he could send his RC in, but the RC would get nothing more than just the eagle. Because there's four ground bows there. Yikes. He's still got the royal champion. I wonder where he'll use her. I think even he's trying to figure that, that out. Okay, so he is going for this hourglass approach. I didn't think he'd put the RC there, though, to be honest. Because look at it. The RC is just going to get the air defense and warden and then get destroyed by the king. Ga uh, Gaku here running the super minion CC. The most popular CC at the moment in Legends, really. Oh, how does Lou deal with this? This is tough. If he pulls this off, this would be genuinely very impressive. I love this trick. Look at it. He's got so many spells. He doesn't need them all for the Lalo. So just going to use one freeze. That takes out the headhunters and it'll get the super minions low enough. Oh my lord. He poisoned them perfectly so they'd stay in the poison when they shoot the balloons. Man's crazy. Ice Hound this time coming in first. We saw in the last attack, he came in as the last hound. So he's changed that up. I don't know if that's a deliberate choice. Ice Hound freeze the town hall. Oh my god, look at that. There is three hounds on top of the town hall. Have you ever seen that before? Loons... Take out the town hall. And he pops the warden. So the, it's all up to the loons. Look at He's got so many troops in the core. But they've got to get through the core quickly. And this queen is being a pain. He's got no more freezers left. This eagle is not going down. This eagle is not going down. Don't you dare. Eagle. Don't. You dare. Oh, loons split. Perfect. Because all of those loons would have died. The eagle goes down. The loons are going around. He's got it. He's got it. How on earth did he do it? How do you do this? He got next to nothing with the Sui. Oh no, don't you dare to Heim fail. No, 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 no. We're not. We saw a 99 last attack. Surely there's enough time here. Yeah, there's enough time. Yeah, yeah, we got nothing to worry about. How did he do that? The hourglass approach is the best way to do it. So for those who don't understand what that means, use the king and queen on one side to get that, RC on the other to get that, and you just spam down the middle. And with the blimp for the town hall and the insane warden abilities he's pulling off, he's absolutely destroying the core of these really ugly anti-twos, even if your name is Gaku. Lou, in again here. He's having some sort of day today. Oh, okay. Now this, this looks like a rough base for Lala. You can see this core scatter shot. Oh, I think the air defense is actually in range. So we should be able to tank that with a hound. But still, that scatter shot is going to be very hard to path loons through. But thankfully, this two sweep... What are those sweepers doing? Dude, what are you doing with those sweepers? Oh, wait a sec. He's not suing the town hall. Is this like the first time we've seen this on an anti-3 today? Or I guess it's more a diamond base, but you get what I mean. On a non-core town hall base, we've always seen him sui the town hall. But not going for that here, which is interesting, because the two sweepers are going to make a bomb for the town... No way. He's going to finish on the town hall. He's going to finish on the town hall, I bet. If he does that, that's just going to be insane. Core Tesla farm. Oh my lord. If he had an invis, the queen gets the eagle here. That's the only thing I'm a bit curious about. Why he's not bringing an invis with this army. Because he's using so many freezes on his sui. Anyway. Let's have a look. Nice loon. Loon minion with the poison. Gonna get rid of the headhunters. No, headhunters. Kill the loon. Okay, finally. Okay, he's pulling the hound to the bottom with an archer. I mean, I would have saved that archer probably. Because you still gotta get the headhunters in. He's got two air heroes left up. I am so curious. No! Eagle! Okay, freezes the eagle. The eagle finally targeted his balloons. Which we haven't seen the eagle do a lot of that today. 
Stone Slam, look at how strong the Stone Slammer is, guys. Particularly because on a lot of Legends League bases, there aren't many Sams in the core. A lot of the Sams are around the Town Hall. They're like more trolly rather than in the core of the base. Oh my lord, this Lalo's moving so smoothly. It's moving so smooth, but he's got to get the Town Hall. That's the big thing here. There's Rage number one. His Headhunters are in there somewhere. I can't see them. Yep, but they just wrecked the Town Hall. Rage... Wait, he hasn't got any more freezers. Come on, loons. Oh, Nato! Wait, Sweeper helped. Sweeper helped. He's got so many balloons up. I know the Town Hall Poison effect is there, but... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you... Are you actually kidding me? What can't he do with this army? He just finished on the Town Hall. <laughs> Are you kidding me? At this point, I have to laugh. <laughs> what what Lou's doing today is unprecedented on the channel, guys. This man has balls of steel, but he made it look so easy. Lalu wipes the base, and he gets another 40 cups. Lou in here again. I've actually lost um, track of which attack this is. Is this number 7 or number 8, chat? Regardless. Let's see what he can do on this very unique base here. Clash of Glands. I recognize this uh, clan. So let's see. He can reach the Town Hall with his Queen. I think he might just do that. Yeah. Interesting. So he's probably going to do King and RC together. If they can get that Scatter Shot and the Sweeper, that's huge. And then he'll probably Lalo from like 7 o'clock. And then just Queen for the Town Hall. Baby Dragon on the top side setting an elite funnel here. Uh, the Queen can't miss this Town Hall. Um, often when things are like three tiles back, it can get a little dodgy. But yeah, the queen's absolutely going to go in. Ooh, okay. This RC is less likely to go for the scatter now, but more likely to go for the multi. Wall break your queen. Wait, why isn't he wall breaking the queen? He could actually get another break here. Queen's going to beat through the wall pretty quickly anyway. He's found the NATO. That's actually probably a good thing. Um, because now he knows, uh, that he doesn't have to worry about it with the Lalo. Now, Toxic CC. He's been really good at dealing with these CCs today, though. Uses the poison. I'm not sure that was the right call. But he's just gonna freeze the troops in place. It's only this witch that isn't in the poison. And the freeze. So that witch will stay alive. But look at that. I sound's just gonna pull it. Nice. Witch should die. No, she won't. That's unfortunate. Stone Slammer, kill her. Nope, the Stone Slam is not going to kill her. Lalo coming in the bottom. Alright, uh, Skelly and Rage for the Queen. He needs this Witch to go down. Oh, but the Eagle's targeting his Dragon. This is uh, looking a little ugly. Pops the Warden at a great time. That's a really good time for the Warden. I don't see if there's Headhunters in there or not. But regardless... Oh, the Witch went down. Nicely done by the Drag. Loon's going around. Freeze and Rage. Love it. But he's only, he's only got one haste left, and this multi is going to be one of the last defenses targeted, just with the way his troops are piling through the base. Let's see. Has he got enough? He's still got a few balloons. I think this haste spell is a slight miss. Let's see. Yeah, it's just slight, but I think he's just got too many balloons. It just seems at this point in time, a max town of 14... Cannot take down this many balloons if you know how to Lalo. Like, Lou looks invincible today, guys. He looks absolutely invincible. There is nothing that can phase him. All of these bases just have are really good against the standard Legends League armies, but they all have fatal flaws that Sui Lalo can expose, and no one is ready for what Lou's doing. In again on an... Oh, look at the... It's Kazuma! He's hitting Kazuma. We've had Kazuma on the channel before. This is his main account as well. This account is a top 100 account. It's It has actually been in the top 50 for most of the season, but he has dropped off the last couple of days. Interesting base he's running, by the way. This base is really easy to hit with Blizz Lalo. Maybe he's trapped it out, but this would be pretty ugly for Sui Lalo. Because as you can see with this one, the defenses are touching the Town Hall. So when, the, when he tries to overwhelm the core of this base with the balloons, the poison effect will have more power than we've seen in the other anti-twos today. So I'm actually really fascinated to see how this goes. So King and Queen are going to go the right-hand side. I think he's hoping to get the enemy Queen. Oh, she steps over the wall. Perfect. You never know if the Queen's going to do that because she has such a big range. 
He can also reach this multi here. He pulls the entire CC. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. He would have got that multi. Oh, uh, that's... Oh, well, what can you do about that? He won't use the poison here. Surely not. No, he'll save it. I like how he takes his time with these sueys, by the way. He'll do the king and queen first, then the RC. It just makes a much more consistent CC kill. So the RC is going to come on the other side, as we've seen with every attack on an anti-2 today, going the hourglass approach. RC will get the air defense. So this ensures that the hounds run across the core of the base. Because it's not just for parving through the town hall. It's also these hounds will pull up every trap in the core. Watch it. The hounds will path literally directly over the town hall. If there's a tornado, they will pull it. If there's like a million Sams and red bombs, air skellies, they will, everything will be pulled. Look at it. Perfect loon drops all over the base. Um, he will freeze the multi in the Tesla farm. Nice, because those loons are not in the warden. They also aren't getting tanked by a hound. He's going the stone slammer on this one. I like that, because like we like I talked about before, the poison effect is going to be strong anyway. Rages. Loons have got to get out of this poison effect. This is huge. I think they did. RC is still up, though. He doesn't have as many loons as, as we've seen in the other hits. And he's out of spells. Stone Slammer is still up, but this Royal Champion is a pain. He's got five loons and a dragon coming out. The RC goes down. How did she go down? I don't know how she went down, but Lou triples another top 100 player. We've seen Garku today. Now Kazuma as well, hurting his rivals in the push for the top of the Legends League leaderboard. And that was just as impressive as any attack we've seen today. That talent, that core was as anti Lalu as any core you will ever see. And he just bullied it with the Stone Slammer and the power of 33 balloons. Final attack of the day. He's up against the Great Fotini. This guy is always at the top of the US leaderboards. Let me know if I'm incorrect on that. But I'm pretty sure sitting right up there. Um, and look at this base. What is this base? I mean, I can't tell if it's like a good base or if it's just ugly. Like some ugly bases aren't actually that good in reality, but I actually think this is, we'll see how this goes. I think he's gonna try and sue like a good portion of the core here. King setting a great funnel for the queen. Will he freeze again for her? RC gonna be able to pop her ability on a bunch of Teslas, always nice. Oh, only gets one of them actually. Rages the queen and freezes. Oh my lord, he's going for the town hall. Freeze again. No way. This would be an insane suey. If he gets the town hall, I'm calling it. This base is gone. Like, I, I know every time I say I'm calling it, someone will fail. No queen! Skellies! Oh, that's such a shame. He would have got it. He would have got it if those skellies didn't pop. Oh, okay, let's see if he can recover this. It's still a great Sui, he's just had to use a few extra freeze spells that he'd rather have for the back end, but it sets up for a really nice Lalo here. Probably expect the Stone Slammer into the multi there. And if he can have that Stone Slammer run the core, in saying that, will he Stone Slammer? Because he doesn't have good pathing to the Town Hall here. He selected the blimp, okay, that's fair enough. This Sweeper won't actually do much, to be honest, so that's not too much of a worry. He's just gonna have to finish on that multi there. Let's see if he has enough Lalo to push through the base. Uh, blimp coming in early. I don't actually expect him to use the Warden for that Blimp. Perfect freeze. That is not an easy freeze. And it's a good Rage as well. Rage gets the Scatter and the Town Hall. L oh, his Blimp does not get the Town Hall though. He pops the Warden. He wants the Dragon to get the Town Hall here. But the Dragon's switching. No, no, no. Oh, look at this. So smart. He sat, hung onto a bunch of balloons to try and direct target the town hall. I mean, that that is that is always a good sign for an army, in my opinion, when lots of things go wrong and you can still save the two star. If I'm doing this Lalo with a Blizz Lalo, I have just failed one star. Really unfortunate there for Lou. He, this, this is like one skeleton spell and a blimp getting the town hall away from being absolutely crushed. Up... But, unfortunately for him, he's actually going to end the day on a fail. That doesn't really do him justice. 
He's still going to put up an insane day. I think he's going to finish in the 290s for the day. We'll see. We'll get a total from him in a second. But regardless, I was super impressed by what Lou did today. And I'm interested to see what you all think down in the comments below. Okay, so that's all eight attacks done for Lou today. As you can see, he ends the day at 5777, and he's already taken five defenses, so he's going to be well into the 5600s uh, by the end of the day. But let's have a look at the leaderboard for right now. Um, so yeah, it gets 286 on the day, 5777. We will drop down. Obviously, most people have done a lot of attacks and haven't taken many defenses. And as you can see, he finishes here at 123rd in the world, or 123rd. Uh, so really nicely done by Lou, but even, even though he only got 286, which kind of feels weird to say because he was amazing today, um, he's still right up there on the Legends League leaderboard. So nicely done by him. As per usual, let me know um, who you'd like to see on the channel if there's anyone in the top 200. And would you like to see Lou again? He came in with 8 insane Sui Lalos today and it was something new and refreshing and I kind of loved it. I'd like to get him on the channel again but want to hear what you think. Anyways, that's it from me today. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe I'll see you soon.